Alright, we're back with Demons here. We have episode 2 of the Ashra training arc. Don't mind the outfit. I just don't have time to change. So this episode, I guess, is gonna be more focused on Gyu, right? I'm excited to see how they're gonna adapt his backstory and if there's gonna be some additional scenes from his backstory. I'll be reacting to the ending in a separate video after this one, so subscribe to don't miss out on that. Let's just jump right into it. Let's go. Alright, we're starting with Yoshiro. Already with some new anime only content. She's thinking about thinking about what happened. Okay, oh, you no, know, we're actually just getting uh Okay, that was cool. I guess we we saw Yoshiro what he was doing when the crow appeared. Damn, they're really out here redoing the old scene. The classic just rolling down the stairs. <laughs> Thank you, Aizen. Nice. Great shot. Indeed. Wow. Oh. My God! <laughs> mm. Yeah. <laughs> wow, they really just out there teasing it, huh? Yeah, you're going somewhere else. Nice music as well. Let's go. Nice, that was really cool. Yeah, that was a good opening to the episode. Again, all anime only stuff. We got to see Yorichi and Muzan and all that stuff. That was really cool. I definitely want to go back to those tail shots. It all led to this, huh? From that moment to now. Yeah? There we go. The sorrow. Nice shot, I mean, wow. Already this episode, we've been getting some really good shots. Anjiro. Oh, the master. Love hearing his voice. He's white, like, really pale. Same to the shot in DLP, but it's reversed, right? It's about you pay your debt, Tanjiro. Back to him. Gotta help him out. Interesting. We're getting an anime only scene with Aoi and Tanjiro. Tanjiro-san. Alright, interesting. I don't know if that was needed, but I guess. They love that shot, huh? Just you sitting down there with the light coming from the window. Open your eyes, Giyu. No? <laughs> Just one eye. <laughs> He's so close. <laughs> Just, Just a little bit more than the Mizubashira Thick lines here on Gibu's face. Kaede. Kizuyoku. Hanashi o shite yatte kure nai ka. Take your time, my man. Gibu san! Onigiri motte kitan desu kedo! Bro, just sleeping there. Onigiri tabete kure tan desu ne. Yokatta desu. Ah! 
イウさん稽古しませんかみんな待ってますよ<笑> Because his eyes were tired イウさんイウさん一生続くのだろうか My shot again Yeah, it probably will どうのやめてくれるのだろうか You won't He won't give up on you. That's one thing that Tanjiro does. He never gives up. I love the low shots. A lot of really low shots where we only see his mouth. I love the low shots where we only see his mouth. Nice from the cover. And Sabito. Yup. Cool. Here we go. I'm excited to see Sabito again. Welcome back, Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome yeah, Sabito, Sabito's sword does look similar to Gyu's. Gyu, what the hell? What the tongue What the hell is that? Sabito's sword. Shinokata. Utsuyo. Light work for him. There he is. Nice. First person view, the end, the blood on his eye, that was cool. Was that Murata? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Miracles, that self doubt, that guilt, lack of self worth. He might, but. <laughs> Those backgrounds, man, looks beautiful. The reflection shots. That's definitely a place where they can connect, right? Nice. And some really great shot of Sabito, man. He looks great. Rengoku-san. He is. 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 He ジンジルと言われたなら、ええことがかかいされ。女に見せてでも恥ずかしかった。ええ、ゲットアウトだ。生きていかなきゃならない。ああ、ベルディアシュラティームアズワ。知らになるまでギウさんが。どれだけ自
Rather, let me see it though. <laughs> この what the hell is that title, bro? They didn't, they didn't even try anymore. What is that title? That's not a title. That's an old description of the episode, bro. What? Tanjiro has recovered. Now he's going to enter the Ashra training arc before he goes to defeat Muzan Kibutsuji with all the Ashras. Okay, bro, what are we doing here? So I won't be doing a review and analysis of this episode because I just don't feel like there's enough to do a whole video about. I think I'll just give my thoughts and review here. And also my review and analysis for episode one, I'll try to get that out um, this week so stay tuned for that as well i mean i did like the episode it was definitely a slower paced one um i think you know in terms of the adaptation from the manga to the anime i think it was done really well um i think it did elevate a little bit of the uh, content in the manga. I think uh, Shimizu was in charge of the directing and the storyboarding for this episode. I think he did a pretty decent job, especially the storyboarding. Um, I really liked some of the angles and the shots um, that we were getting from, you know, far away, uh, really low shots on Gyu's face, focusing more on his mouth without showing his eyes. I think the shots, especially in the backstories with Sabito and stuff, uh, it just it looked incredible with the sun with the sunlight um and the trees and just the background in general sabito looked great like he looked better than in season one in my opinion young Gyu as well was done well and i i did like how Gyu looked present time as well in the episode pretty good drawings of course but yeah i think the water we got a lot of uh reflection shots in this episode with the water the window at the start with tamayo um really cool shots in terms of the animation i mean there wasn't anything crazy fighting wise or anything you know maybe if i there's something maybe i would have wanted a little bit more was uh in the backstory right with sabito and the final selection and against the demons we didn't get to see much i was maybe hoping for a little bit more than in the manga and you know maybe give us some cool uh cuts and sakuga there we didn't get much to be honest which is fine again in the manga there's barely any fighting but yeah that would be probably one of the things in this episode with maybe the pacing being a little bit slow again they're really going hard on the comedic stuff uh, even in this episode they're not shying away from it at all I'm not surprised but yeah i think the dialogue you know with Gyu and tanjiro done really well um, just in terms of not production side of things but just even from the manga i really like uh, the line of dialogue between Tanjiro and Gyu and I really like that connection that they can have together right that kind of survivor guilt being there right taking that Rengoku could have defeated Muzan a little bit of that lack of self-worth as well you know obviously with Gyu and Sabito I think it, not just for Gyu being able to understand more Gyu and stuff but I think it's good for Tanjiro's character as well um, especially on that bridge right that moment of him talking about what he feels what it made him feel as well with Rangoku. I think uh, it's cool to actually see Tanjiro voice it, right? Uh, say it out loud and, and stuff. Because it was still a little bit there, like it was subtle, but it was still there for Tanjiro's character. But it's cool to to see him actually say it, you know? I like the OSTs as well, nothing too too crazy to me in terms of OSTs, but you know, it's Goshina, so it was really solid. At the start with Tamayo, that was so cool, um, just seeing that little flash of Yorichi and Muzan, right? That confrontation. Um, they're teasing it, they're teasing it, and I do like, you know, Tamayo saying like this, 
this all out too early like this is it you know from that moment with Yorichi obviously I, I'm not gonna try to spoil too much here but I do like that it's referencing to something in the fight with Muzan in a way right or talking about Tanjiro as well again give me more Tamayo content man I'm all here for it and I want to see Tamayo and Shinobu interact you know that was a big miss in the manga so I really hope we do see that and they've been giving some more content to Tamayo so I'm hoping for that the Aoi and Tanjiro moment uh, okay I, I don't think it give us much to be honest I don't even know if it is what necessary like there's so many other characters that I would like to see more content from and Aoi is not really one of them and if I do see Aoi it would need to be with Inosuke other than that I don't really see the point we still have a lot of space <laughs> in this arc to add uh, a lot of new anime only content so it's not too bad but you know if we're at the end of this arc right we end this arc and we don't get as much anime only content that I wanted or that I, that I want I'm gonna look back at like this and I'm gonna be like why did we not get other stuff but we got Aoi and Tanjiro talking so we'll have to see with that it wasn't too long at least and then we ended with Shinobu you know pretty similar as in the manga to be honest it's uh, it's the same so yeah enjoy this episode next episode I guess we'll jump into the actual training that's gonna be very fun I'm expecting uh, maybe a little bit more Sakuga and action and cool sequences hopefully the pace ramps up a little bit here we'll see I'm not quite sure but I do want the training itself with Tanjiro and the to be extended so I'm looking forward to what they're gonna add there because they will definitely <laughs> extend the training itself I'm 100% sure so stay tuned and subscribe if you don't want to miss out on that and like the video if you enjoy my action and I'll be reacting to the ending uh, next I'll see you there see ya